If I'm gonna get Project Yellow back on the road, I've gotta think of something for fenders and something to mount the mud flaps to. Stay tuned. Well, there's a couple of different things that we could use for fenders. Obviously, we could uh, not put fenders on it, but I don't really wanna have rocks thrown through the back glass on the truck or uh, stuff splattered all over the place. I don't wanna be throwing stuff up on cars behind me, so we'll definitely have mud flaps. Um, so I was thinking, what could I use? What, what could I use? I had a couple ideas from uh, using tread plate, either aluminum and, and having it, you know, pretty clean and shiny looking. I thought, well, there's not a whole lot of other things clean and shiny on the truck. Well, what if I painted it and used steel tread plates? So it'd be a little bit heavier duty and wouldn't, wouldn't get bent so easily. And then I started seeing prices on tread plate right now, which steel keeps going up. It's pretty expensive. I do have a little bit of aluminum that's thicker, um, but it's pretty bent up. So I don't know if it would be worth trying to straighten it all out and use it. Plus I wouldn't have a lot. And then I got to thinking, what if I used, you know, there's, there's a couple things I could use. But something that came to my mind when I was looking around a Home Depot or Lowe's or something was the idea of using anything that's already round that's cheap and could potentially be strong enough to at least hold its shape. Um, so I thought, well, what, I could try this and I could try that. Well, that's not big enough. And then I came across basement window wells it holds it creates a barricade for dirt so it doesn't push up against a basement window and i guess creates a place for egress um, so i grabbed one of those or two of them and got to thinking well if i space that out put some two by fours under there to see what it would look like it's not the coolest thing in the world but i could paint them these are kind of a thin galvanized steel. I might be able to make this work. I just gotta figure out how far up I wanna space it. I have two two by four thicknesses just to get a little bit of space off the tire, but it probably needs to be a little bit higher than that. I don't know, I kind of hate it, but I kind of like it. It's just enough redneck that uh, we can use it here on Fab Fun. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. All right, the more I stare at these and the more I look and study and try to figure out how I can space them out, how I can mount them, the less and less I like them. They look out of place. Um, I don't know, everybody's got opinions. I'm not saying mine's right or wrong or anybody else's is, but I'm starting to not like it. I don't know. I might just end up taking those back, just going with mud flaps. I did start to look at, this window is not quite as wide as a normal truck cab. It's actually in just to the frame rail so that if it throws a rock on a cabin chassis, it won't hit the glass. And the mirror, if you look at it, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but uh, the mirrors are sitting outside the tires as well. So I really don't have to worry that much about anything hitting glass if it throws a rock, other than getting the cab dirty. I'm not too worried about that. <sighs> I don't know. Leave some comments in the comment section and let me know what you thought of this. I thought it would be a pretty, pretty good idea, but the more I stare at it, the less and less I like it. Doesn't look good. It doesn't look like it fits. It doesn't look right on the truck. So I thought about putting a flat plate on there. Might weigh that a little bit more. I guess I don't have to decide immediately, but I'm starting to really not like this look. 
catch you next time.